Hi, this is Rick Danko. Welcome to the all hit 98 album Spotlight. Tonight we're featuring Showdown at Big Sky by Robbie Robertson. We hope you enjoy it. Good evening. You're listening to WPTX WMDM Lexington Park. I'm Thomas, and my special guest tonight is former member of the band Rick Danko. There's a brand new album out on the market called Showdown at Big Sky by Robbie Roberts, and it's receiving notoriety and acclaim from every critic in the country. There's a sticker on it. Uh, Musician Magazine has stated you have to listen to it for yourself. You appear on a cut, Sonny Got Caught in the Moonlight. It's a lot of fun, and I really like the album. I think it's great. Rolling Stone magazine just did the top 20, the top 100 albums of the last 20 years, and the band showed up quite a few times. Did you see that, Paul? Yeah, I did. You know, uh, I'm very thankful. You know, flattered, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's nice to be inspired and to be <laughs> inspirational. You know, uh, you know. I hope I'm around 20 years from now when they do another uh, <laughs> top uh, 100. Uh, you know, maybe when I'm 100. What's Bob Dylan up to? I saw Bob on Halloween night. Actually, he was. Yeah. Was he wearing a costume? Absolutely. Yeah. Somebody said, "Hey, Rick, man, was that?" Uh, uh, Who's that guy, man? He, he, looked, he was playing harmonica, you know, and uh, he looked like uh, the sheik of, uh, of Arabia. <laughs> you know, uh, or was that Bob Dylan? You know? <laughs> I said, oh, you never know, man. Halloween is that. You were just in the studio with Jim Kerr of Simple Minds. That's true. Yeah, they're, uh, uh, they were in Bearsville, uh, doing uh, some recording at Bearsville Studio. And uh, how did you know that? <laughs> you've been talking to Jim? No, word gets around. But you've been in the print quite a bit lately. Uh, it seems like being a relic from the 60s and the 70s, like we are, now people are starting to do their history. Well, I just want to say that the kids are all right, you know, and... Uh, you know, we're just here to pass. Uh, a little bit of concentration can go a long way, <laughs> you know, and uh, and it's wonderful, you know. That's, that's uh, the kids are all right. Well, that's another thing I want to ask you. The kids are all right. The movie by The Who. How did you, <laughs> what is your involvement with that? Uh, I actually show up in a disguise. And, uh, I was going to Keith Moon's house one night. He just lived down the beach from me, and... Uh, the guy, uh, one of the people that works with him, actually uh, worked for him at the time. You know, he ran out and said, "Hey, Rick, it's a setup. You know, uh, they've got, they're going to have the cameras rolling. You know, and Keith wanted it to be a surprise." So I went back to my house and put on a disguise. You know, and uh, and that's kind of funny. You know, I, I can't. I still haven't seen myself in that movie, but I guess I'm there in disguise. The song that you wrote with Bob Dylan, This Wheel's on Fire. Now there's a new version out. Well, it's not that new, but it's fairly new by Susie and the Banshees. Have you heard it? Well, absolutely, man. Uh, you know, I, I appreciate all the royalty statements. Uh, <laughs> my kids appreciate it. <laughs> what did you think of the tribute to Chuck Berry where they finally gave him his rightful place in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Well, I met Chuck Berry maybe 20 years ago, and uh, I'm a Chuck Berry fan. He's uh, truly, you know, uh, one of the first rock and roll poets. That uh, He's great. I mean, he just, uh, I played with him once, you know. He showed up in Toronto with his guitar, you know, and uh, he said, you know, anybody want to play with Chuck Berry? He says, I know you all know the songs, you know. And he was right, you know. <laughs> Just let me hear some of that rock and roll music If you want to dance with me There's a lot of new music out today that kind of uh, simulates the uh, music that the band did in the early years. I'm referring to Bruce Hornsby and the range, the instrumentation, and the lyrical content is definitely a reflection of the band. 
Well, man, you know, uh, it's it's wonderful, you know, to to be inspired and to be inspirational. You know, there's uh, something to be said about all that. Also, John Cougar Mellencamp is now using accordions in his his work. Isn't that wonderful? I haven't seen the movie Ishtar yet, but uh, I've heard that uh, they were saying, you know, if you play an accordion, you won't get to play in a rock and roll band or something. But uh, I have three accordions at home, you know. Tonight you did a song called Missing in Action. <laughs> Is that the title? Uh, forever I'll Be. <laughs> yeah. Will that appear on a new album? Oh, uh, it's possible, you know. Uh, Actually, uh, I haven't felt like putting out an album in a long time, and but I've been feeling like it lately, you know. And uh, I'm still with uh, uh, Arista, you know, and uh, so I'm sure that uh, you know there'll be an album uh, in the works soon, you know. What about the children's album that you mentioned? Uh, that that should be there's uh, uh, some different people from Woodstock. Uh, Happy Trom and uh, uh, boy, I mean, there's a maybe, you know, it might even be a double album because it could be as many as 15, 20 different people, you know, that are involved. And uh, I think it's great, you know, Jimmy Crack Corn, <laughs> you know, Burl Ives. He uh, he was uh, very inspirational. What other future projects do you have in store for '88? Well, 88's just about to begin, you know. Uh, uh, you know, I promise I won't work too hard. You know, and endorphins, you know. I've been working on the endorphins, uh, you know, taking one-hour walks, you know, getting ready for the, the big 50s, you know. <laughs> Being healthy, you know, and uh, that's important. I liked your version of Lionel Richie's tune tonight. Thank you very much. You know, he's inspirational too, you know. I wish you would sing a couple bars for my wife, Carla. My love, just thinking about you, baby, blows my mind. <laughs> Thank you. Let's continue with the All Hit 98 album spotlight. You realize I'm going to splice all this up. It'll sound great. Basement Tapes 2, what's the story on that? Is that like a bootleg? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, oh, with Tiny Tim, I like sit up on my knee, Sunny Boy. <laughs> Tiny visited our station. He's with the Carnival. He's a a wonderful. Uh, he he's also inspirational. You know, uh, he knows how to get attention. <laughs> But uh, will there be? We don't know if there's going to be a Basement Tapes 2 or not, if a label will oh, take I, I see what you're, you, you're talking about. Well, uh, have you heard uh, that there's a bootleg? Someone just uh, gave me a, a set a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, it's amazing. You know, uh, it's, it's good to document, and it's good to uh, pass it on, I guess, you know, and... Uh, I'm just part of the the documentation and part of passing it on, you know. Well, maybe you can dub it and send it to me? Absolutely, man. I've got somebody that will do that for me. <laughs> One question that has always made me curious, why didn't the band appear in the movie Woodstock? Uh, I guess uh, they. Albert Grossman was my manager at the time. God rest his soul. Uh, uh, obviously, they just didn't make him the right offer. <laughs> he was very overprotective of, of the band. Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's good to be protected sometimes, you know. Put him on double, it'll save you a lot of trouble there. <laughs> what is uh, Blondie Chaplin up to? He lives in New York City, and we get together and play music every now and then. He just went to uh, Madrid, Spain with me about a month and a half ago, I guess. And he was in a, a, a band, you know, a band for a day, Dr. John, Garth Hudson, uh, Terry Cagle, and uh, 
Earl Kate uh, from the Kate Brothers Band. You know, we had a great time. I think we're gonna hook back up in February and go to South America. You know, and uh, play some music. I'd like to be in Rio at Carnival time. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Life is a carnival. Absolutely. Believe it or not. <laughs> You're listening to the All at 98 Album Spotlight. Uh, I'm Thomas, and my guest tonight is Rick Danko. How's Levon? Oh, he's fine. Yeah. What has he been doing? He just finished uh, making another movie, and I spoke to him yesterday briefly, and uh, I'll get together with him uh, next week, you know, Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. Is there a chance that you all will get together and play? I think in February we're going to do something, you know, together, you know, February, March. We would love for you to come down to Southern Maryland sometime and play. Well, maybe I'll see you in the spring, you know. County fair or something like that? It's, it's hard to say, you know, but it, it would be nice to come to your neighborhood and play some music. I really appreciate you being the special host of the All Hit 98 album Spotlight tonight. Thank you very much, man. It's, it's a pleasure once again, you know, uh, to be here. Do you have anything to say about the new Robbie Robertson album? Buy it, you know. Uh, listen to it. Uh, try it. You'll like it. Hi, this is Rick Danko. You're listening to WMDM Lexington Park All Hit 98. Do you know how lucky you are? Thomas, Grooms, keep up the good work.